Girls, it's JD here back with another video and I'm so glad to see you guys again. I hope you guys are having a beautiful and great day. Alright, so we're still in the same month of September and we're still talking about the same thing. And I'm going to ask you guys again, um, who has a plan for you? Right, God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you and me. Okay, so for today's activity, we're gonna I'm gonna kind of go over the Bible study, uh, the Bible story, just a little bit, um, but then we're gonna kind of act out some things. So just listen to what I say and um, just follow along with me, okay? All right, so we're gonna be talking about Joseph today. All right, so first let's pretend like we are Pharaoh and the king, and we're gonna go to sleep. So wherever you are, just lay your head down. You're going to go to sleep. You may even snore if you're like me. I snore just a little bit. So you can just fall asleep. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, but it's time to get up. Time to wake up. Everybody wake up, wake up, wake up. All right. So now that we're up, I'm going to stretch a little bit. Stretch and we're ready for today. Awesome. Now, while Pharaoh was asleep, he had a dream. He had a dream with cows in them. And can you remind me, what does, what does a cow say? Tell me. A cow goes moo. Right. Good job, everybody. All right. Now, the dream also has grain in it. Now, we use grain to make bread. Now, let's pretend that we're eating some yummy bread, okay? I have my bread. You have it? Nom, 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 nom. Mmm, so good. I love bread. Do you guys like bread? Awesome, awesome. Okay, now, Pharaoh didn't, he didn't know what his dream was about. He, he, he had grass, uh, not grass, but grain and cows, but he didn't know what that meant. So, he asked his friend Joseph to help him. And Joseph told Pharaoh about his dream. And he was able to explain his dream um, and that his dream was from God. And God wanted him to start saving lots of grain so that everyone had enough to eat later. Now, Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph was able to tell him about his, his dream. And he put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt so that they can help save the grain so that everyone can eat. Now, everything happened just like Joseph said, because he trusted God's plan. Now, God had good things planned for Joseph to do. And because Joseph trusted God's plan, he was able to save lots and lots of people. God loves you, and he has good things planned for you, too. So, God has a plan for you. And if we follow God's plan, everything will work out for good. And it will be just okay, just like everything worked out for Joseph and the Pharaoh. Joseph followed what God said to do, and he, everything worked out great. So, this is great, guys. I'm so glad that you were able to join me today, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. I know they are good, I know they are best The reason I love is because he said He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know And when I'm feeling so sad Play
me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know Who? Who? You know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder There's so much fun we'll have learning together So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse With Ollie and his friends Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse Where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse We miss you Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was getting ready for the big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, and then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, in what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? What are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan. It's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my Sweet Dreams Cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three! Tell me a story! Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven! Big job! Seven cows. The pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. <gasps> mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of 
all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food. So they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too. And God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.